Today I will show you how you can bring your GoPro Hero 7 Time Warps to the next level. We are gonna have a look at the settings, the mounts, the camera movements, the music and the color grading so you have everything you need in only one video. Before we can proceed to the practical tips you need to have the right settings. Choose 4K and 30X that makes your Time Warps the most stable. Also really important is the location. If I made a time warp here, it wouldn't look great at all because the only movement I have in my image are the clouds. So therefore I went to a big city in the north of Germany which looks like that. You can mount your GoPro in two different ways. First way would be using a pole, like normally, or using a chest mount. I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages of both mounts right now. The big advantage of using your GoPro Hero 7 on a pole is that you can have flexible camera angles and movements. For example, you can tilt your camera upwards or you can move it from the left side to the right side and so on. But that's also the big disadvantage because if you want to have a only straight time warp, then you will have as well camera shakes in your picture because while you're walking you're automatically moving your hands up and down and you don't want to have these movements in your straight time warp. So if you understood the advantages and disadvantages of the pole then I don't have to talk much more about the chest mount. The big advantage is that your camera is always in the same height and that you don't have any camera movements or shakes in your time warps. But if you want to have next level time warps, then you cannot use this mount anymore because you need to have manual camera movement. But don't worry, I'm gonna show and explain you everything in detail now. Now let's talk about the most interesting stuff, the camera movements. There are four types I'm going to show you and we will start with the easiest one and the one you're gonna use the most, the straight time warp. It's really easy to do, you only mount your camera on a chest mount, start walking, that's it. Let's move on to the second one. My absolutely favorite camera movement is the tilt movement. It's not very easy to get, you need a lot of practice, but the results will be amazing and really next level. Basically what you have to do is tilting upwards your camera. Sounds very easy, but it's not at all. Because if you use the settings I showed you, you need to walk one minute to get two seconds of time warp. That means if you want to have six seconds of time warp, you need to walk three minutes. And this tilting movement needs to be done in three minutes as well. That means you have to do it really, 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 really slowly. And if you once shake with your hand, you're gonna mess up the time warp and you have to start all over again. Another big problem is that if you are in a big city like I was yesterday and you're moving really slowly, that means you're also walking really slowly, the people behind you get annoyed, everybody will watch you and you will stop your time warp maybe too early and you will get a time warp of two seconds which you can't use. But I show you a way you indeed can use them, but more to that later on. The side time warp is again really really easy to do. It basically works the same as a straight time warp but you use a pole and you point your camera to the side. That means you walk straight but your camera is filming to this side in a 90 degree angle. And again, I cannot repeat this enough, it takes a lot of time. It takes you three minutes as you already know to get six seconds of time warps. And if you're walking straight, probably you're gonna come to the end of the street before those three minutes so you need to walk extra slowly and you're again gonna annoy the people. I just wanted to point this out again because it's the most difficult stuff about the time warps and if you are gonna do them you will know what I mean. The radius or circle time warp again is a little bit more difficult but the results will be really really cool as well. The differences between them is that on the radius time warp you are moving yourself in a circle and your camera points all the time to the same object. While during the circle time lapse you just move yourself in a circle with the camera pointing all the time straight. These are the differences and again you need to move yourself really 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 slowly and 
that's it. If you understood the previous ones, you will understand this one as well. A minute ago, I told you that I'm gonna show you what you can do with the time warps, which are maybe only two seconds long. So I guess you know the function boomerang of Instagram, and that's what you can use them for. Just play them normally, these two seconds, and then reverse the speed. And then you made your own boomerang, and you have a four seconds clip. By the way, if you recognize the city I took all those time warps, then let me know that in the comment section. And if not, then just make a wild guess. Now let's move on to the music. Music has a huge impact on your time warps results. If you choose the right song which matches the stuff you filmed during your time warp, that makes your time warp more cinematic. And if you then add sound effects to it, you can bring them to the next level. So I'm gonna show you two examples. The first one is a normal time warp, normal music. The second one is a normal time warp, but with matched music and sound effects. So for the second last point of this video, I'm gonna show you the color grading. If you chose the settings I showed you in the first point, then your image will be a little bit oversaturated. So I desaturate it so it looks a little bit more natural and then I add a lot to it. I chose a teal and orange one so it looks a little bit more cinematic and that's it. It takes you maybe two or three minutes, nothing more. To sum up now all the information I gave you in this video, I'm gonna show you a next level time warp which you can get with all the tips I showed you. Adding cool music, sound effects, color grading, camera movements and so on. So here are the results.